Hi folks, Viv going live from York. Sorry, it's a bit delayed there, but anyway. Um, yeah, just a quickie again this week because I've had a bit of a crazy wait week. Um, but something I noticed, so I've been super honest with myself this week, and I am actually wearing the t-shirt I took took by look. I'm Groot. You might not know what that means. Google Groot and you'll see what happens. But um, the main thing about Groot is he's a little twig thing in a film, and the only thing he ever says is, I'm Groot. Hi, Tracy, I'm Gail. Yay, Gail, hi. <laughs> um, hi, Tracy. Um, and so the only thing he can say is, I'm Groot. He does say it in slightly different ways, depending on what he's doing, but people can interpret what he means. So the main thing, I was looking at my T-shirt that I was wearing, because I'm a total geek, and thinking how often people say, um, I'm fine, when somebody says, how are you? And actually, percentage-wise, how often are they just fine? And is it really a great response? It's just an automatic reaction. We're all just super polite and go, yeah, I'm fine. So this week I did a sort of mini experiment with myself and others. And when I automatically said I'm fine to people asking me how I was, I actually corrected them. Well, corrected myself and said, actually, I'm not fine. Um, or I'm better than fine, depending on how I was feeling. Um, and it's led to some really interesting conversations I've had with people. So I got a really good book recommendation from somebody because we got talking about the fact that I am still finding it difficult that Zach's now at college. Um, it's not a big deal. It's just that he's been with me like 24 seven pretty much because I home educate. So I knew it was going to be tough, but I have found it really tough. It's been a bit of a sort of grieving process to really finally lose my little boy, which I had already lost, to be honest, but it's more obvious than when he's not around as much. So I've been honest about that with some people and got a really good book recommendation, which was fantastic. And with some other people, you know, some who aren't even like close friends or anything, I've gone, do you know what? I'm not actually feeling that great. I am struggling with, with what's going on and it's not a big deal, but it has made me feel quite sad and I am looking at ways of doing that. But it's been a really interesting experiment to not automatically respond with, I'm fine. <laughs> Thanks, Gail. It's going to be even worse when they move out. Yes, I know. Um, but that's OK, because I've got friends who I can talk to and they'll say, yeah, I've been through the same thing, too, which is what's happened. There's been a lot of people who've responded to me and gone, yeah, I know what you're going through. And these are some of the things I've done and blah, blah, blah. And we've had really nice conversations about it. I was also at a really good workshop yesterday morning where we got into that sort of why is it that people um, just go, hey, yeah, I'm fine. I mean, if you're better than fine, why aren't you telling everybody, yes, I feel wonderful and blah, blah, blah. Um, and if you're not fine, why, why not say uh, things aren't so great for me? Because if that person actually wants to know, you might end up having the interesting conversations like the ones I've had. And if that person was just doing it because it's a polite thing to do, then you're not going to have missed anything, are you? Because they're going to look at you like you're a weirdo and leave. Hi, Emma. Hi, Thomas. So it's been a really interesting week because the thing I went to yesterday morning where we went round, it was a playing with words, sort of using words as therapy and writing and doing those sort of writing exercises. It was really good fun, actually. And we got into talking about, you know, sometimes when you're not feeling great or even if you are feeling great writing down stuff means you can then look over that if you do like a daily practice yeah true gail the person doesn't know but we just do it automatically don't we you go hello how are you and we don't really think do we actually want to know how that person is because you could just say hello <laughs> and give them a smile so yeah it is actually the person doesn't really want to know or maybe they do and actually you giving them an honest answer gives them the opportunity to then think how they're feeling, which is what happened a couple of times when I said, actually, I'm not doing that great to people. Um, but with the writing exercises we were doing, what I really liked was that thing of sort of being able to track how you feel. So um, a while ago, I did a, the three gratitude thing with my daughter, where before going to bed, both of us wrote down three things we'd been really grateful for through that day. And I really think it improved how I was feeling about stuff. Um, but the thing we did at the workshop yesterday was actually the idea of doing like three minutes of free writing 
or even five minutes or even 10 minutes of free writing where you just write whatever comes into your mind and you sort of do a brain dump. And what we were discussing is how that actually attaches you more to what you are feeling. So it's like um, saying, asking yourself how you are and then actually getting a proper response. How are you? So instead of just, and if you want to just write, I'm fine, but you don't, you end up writing all the stuff that's in your brain. And sometimes you can then look back at that over time and you keep those. You can look, look back at those over time and actually discover um, how you are feeling, which is quite interesting. So, um, yeah, I feel like saying to, to anybody who's a geek, if they say, how are you? If I'm wearing this T-shirt, I can just go, I'm Groot. <laughs> Um, and they can try and work out how I feel. But um, yeah, I just thought it was an interesting thing that I'd done it for about, hi Emma, I'd done it for about a week. And I've, I've as I said, I got a really good book recommendation, which I'm probably going to get, which I might note below, so about those transitional losses. Because we're all used to people grieving when they actually, when somebody dies. But actually there's a lot more in life where those sort of losses happen. And I think I've mentioned this before in lives where somebody leaves you know as you say going away to college or whatever or but even things like when you realize you're not going to have any more children and so the ones you've got every transition they go through they stop being a toddler and you can't say you've got toddlers anymore and then you can't say you've got little people i know it's happened with people where their kids have gone to big school and suddenly they're like yeah my kid's not a little kid anymore they're now at big school you know you've got all these transitions where actually there is a bit of grieving or a bit of just having to move with those emotions and realize that your life isn't what it was maybe yesterday. Um, so that was the book that I got recommended because I said to someone, I'm not actually fine. I'm, I am struggling a bit with what's going on and that transition. And I knew it was coming and I'd prepared for it, but I'm still struggling and that's actually okay. It's okay not to be fine. And the other side of it, it's okay to be fantastic. So if somebody says, how are you? Sometimes I think we feel a bit guilty saying, actually, I'm doing really well because that's seen as sort of bragging or whatever. Hi, Rich. Um, yeah, positivity about the good things instead about negativity about, yeah, that sort of thing where it's not, it's not a bad thing that I'm feeling bad. It's a good thing. My son has moved on. I've created a human being who's doing okay, not being home educated anymore and yeah that it's also fine to tell people but i'm struggling with that because do you know what that's okay and it gives people other people permission to say the same so i just thought i'd share that and it was weird because it sort of did come from the t-shirt where i just went i'm fed up of saying i'm fine when i'm not actually feeling fine and i've had as i said quite a few experiences this week when because i've been honest about it other people have felt that they can be honest too and there are other people out there who, especially at this time of year, are struggling with their kids going away to university, which is a really big deal, or going to big school, or going to college, or other transitions that are happening. And it's actually fine to not be okay, and it's fine to be really, really good, and it's fine to share those things with people. <laughs> Thanks, Tracy. Yeah, I have been using my oils. I know I harp on about it, but I have been using my oils. And it was really lovely, actually. I went to the thing yesterday. And I got these lovely flowers and smell. Um, it, I was trying to find the quote that Dr. House had done in one of his um, episodes. It wasn't a great, it wasn't a great quote about smell because he was doing something really well as Dr. House would. He was doing something probably not very appropriate, but he was using smell to try and access memories to help with something. And he said, smell is a great evocator of memories or something like that. And I was trying to find the quote, but I couldn't find it. But yes, there are some really good oils that are helping me and i do think i'm doing a lot better because i'm using that because yeah they are just something that i love using but it's been lovely to get these flowers as well and i'm feeling a lot better because i actually connected with some people and i've got some great advice and some books that i can go and read and i love reading books so giving me book recommendations is fantastic and um, it's been really nice to connect with them, some people and hear a bit, bit, bit more about their lives, especially a couple of the people where I said, actually, I'm not fine and explained a bit about what was going on. I got to find out a bit more about them. So I feel a bit more connected to those people. Um, oh, Gail, I should show you the Symphony of the Cells. Come around for a Symphony of the Cells experience. They're really, really cool. And anybody else, if you want to come and have a Symphony of the Cells sort of 
oil massage type experience which is good for different things depending on what you're going through there is there are really good ones that help with various emotions um oh no tracy i can get you more oil don't worry um so yeah i might put the book recommendation if anybody else is interested i can't remember it off the top of my head but i will track down what it was um yeah and as always if you want to know more about oils i am i am the oil person especially if it comes to emotions i love i love using them to help out with emotions um i think it gave me the courage to do the whole i'm not fine it's okay to not be fine um and obviously i'm i'm always wearing i've got one on today I've got my little diffuser necklace look how gorgeous that one is you see that little stars i've got i've got frankincense in there i love frankincense helps with brain function means i can do my lives with like totally forgetting where i was supposed what i was supposed to be doing and where i was supposed to be going um so yeah that's me um thanks for being on everyone and thanks for typing things that's been really exciting um so yeah i think that was all i was gonna say <laughs> yeah it was my t-shirt i'm grouped there you go that's gonna be my new middle name vivian susan louise i'm grouped chamberlain kid it's got a good ring to it anyway take care everyone and um am i back next thursday i'll check but i'm hoping i'm gonna be back to thursday again as normal Okay, take care. Bye.